And it wasn't just a big moment for the university, but also for hundreds of students, one of whom traveled thousands of miles to further his education. He's a native of Pakistan who received his master's degree, and after he crossed the stage, he spoke with Wayne 15's Tony Sandlaven. And Tony, what do you have to share with you? Well, Dirk and Tara, Shahab Ali Shah is thankful that this day has finally arrived. When he was growing up, he didn't walk until he was three and didn't talk until he was four. Still, through his struggles, Shahab Ali Shah says he never stopped trying to pursue his dreams. This is what it's all about. Graduation is what it's all about. It's what all of our students are striving for. It's what our faculty strive for for all of our students to get to that major milestone in their career. Today marked the beginning of a new tradition. For the first time ever, Purdue University Fort Wayne held its own commencement ceremony. Shahab Ali Shah. Today also marked the conclusion of a worldwide journey for Shahab Ali Shah. Wherever I go, these two years of my life, my college career, I will never forget. And this, I, I never realized until I was a student that I was making memories. I was not just spending my two years or I was actually oh, making Lord. memories. Shahab is from Pakistan. He earned an undergraduate degree there before pursuing graduate school. Family members put him in touch with Purdue Fort Wayne, which led to an impactful phone call. On top of just admission, he also offered me graduate research internship, and I was like, that's awesome. He said, would you, like, would you be willing to accept the offer? And I said, yes, more than. <laughs> so that's how I got admission here. Shaham's work at Purdue Fort Wayne led him to accept a job with Triton Metal Products as a systems and manufacturing engineer. His success as a student at PFW has administrators hoping there will be more stories like his. We are looking forward to hosting even more international students on our campus. It is so important to bring the world here so that our students can really understand what's happening around the world. What are other cultures like and how do we share um, that information and appreciation of what is happening around the world. Shahab says he will stay in Fort Wayne and continue to work at Triton Metal Products until it comes time to look for something new. After that, he says, anywhere in the world is a possibility. I'm in Studio 15, Tony Sandlaven, Wayne 15 News. A big day for many. Thank you, Tony.